Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. We are joined by a wiener dog that needs a cuddle. I wanted to go ahead and share with you some of the updates of Building Raft Studios, but I haven't posted because I wanted to make sure that I was legally in the clear on what I could post, if that gives you any indication of the twists and turns of this renovation and the building process. So let's dive in. Let's take a look at the house before any work got started. This is the original second story. This is the window where Coco checked in on us when we were removing the roof. Also, when we had started building the second story, I needed to go ahead and remove that window so that we could put a door. As this is cut in, of course, there's always the excitement of exposing things in an old house like knob and tube wiring, which meant that it was just time to go ahead and rewire the house, largely because the original service was inside the house and it needed to move outside the house. And because of the lathes for bassoon repair that I intend to be running and also the increased size of the house, it was important to move it to a 400 amp service. Once the wiring was complete, we were able to close up the window and add in the door. After that, it was time to deal with the deck. Now the deck outside the studio space was fantastic, but it had long-term problems that were bound to happen because it was just wood on ground. There weren't any of the posts in cement that would keep it from rotting. So I'm trying to deal with everything once. And one of the things I also wanted to do was make sure that my base was handicap accessible. So as part of that with the stairs, it was time to go ahead and remove that make space for cement to be poured. Once that was ready to go and we were waiting for the concrete, I was able to go ahead and add in the windows. Around this time period, the construction company that I had been working for, I realized was not going to hold steady to their word. And they started sending me workers that I knew from working with the company were not the greatest at attention to detail. This is a finished wall that they had completed. This was like the perfect storm because during this time period, it's fall and the cotton fields are starting to get harvested and all of the critters that live in the cotton fields that are right next to my house needed a new place to live. This is while my house does not have a wall and there is direct access to my basement. Coco, of course, was like on it. She knew immediately when it started to happen. Okay, we have hit next level over here. Coco just helped me catch a rat. Like she and I teamed it out like, whoa. Of course, the rats are going to be followed by snakes. So I had rat snakes moving in as well. Okay, so just got out of the shower and I went to put on my pajamas. And a fresh snake skin just fell out of my pajamas. It was like an invitation for all of mother nature to move into my house. There's a bird in my dining room. At some point, I have to just acknowledge that I live in the country. Winter is coming and I still do not have a wall on my house. I really push to get the concrete poured in order to help with the foundation, but also to help with the fact that then it would be sealed up against uh, pests like termites. This is the point where all work stopped on my house. I knew that I had problems with the contract company this is really when I started to reevaluate things because it had been from early May until December without either having a roof on my house or without having a wall on my house. When I tried to talk to the contract company about the quality of work, they just stopped showing up. They disappeared. It felt like 2020 was officially a dumpster fire and I broke. Of course, the adrenaline of fight or flight hit me full force, which um, when I wanted to run away, I realized that there was a better use of that energy and I actually joined the race around the world. But I also had the fight moments and when I felt like fighting, I took it to the mother nature and I worked on my garden. I started to pull it back together and all I could think of was the movie Whip It, where Kristen Wiig says, Vero Nero, Vero Nero. I hired another contractor to go ahead and dry me in and then I hired structural engineers to make sure that the building that I was building was safe and I also hired investigators to know exactly what was done wrong at my house. The list was extensive. Here's the little taste of just what it looked like. 
as I'm sure you can imagine, at this point, there is just an epic long to-do list and every day I just work on one little aspect of that to-do list. I check it off and we move forward. So I don't actually have a finish date set because I wanna make sure that this is done right and I only wanna do it once. So I will be returning back to um, my real goals of bassoon at my heart and my core and I will bring you guys along for those journeys as well. Thank you guys for keeping up with me and I will see you soon. Bye.